Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be doing a how to make a car tutorial here in the world of Starworks. So first, uh, hop into the editor, obviously. Um, for now, I'm just going to make kind of like the car shape, obviously. Uh, so just here, add in a seat. Uh, now, the actual, like, how your car actually looks, that is completely up to you. Um, so yeah, just kind of have this, and uh, yeah, so let's get a wheel here. Uh, 3x3 three three suspension is the one I'm looking for. Make sure, now with the wheels, make sure the arrows are, uh, facing forwards, always, if, like, you know, you're doing the, uh, front wheel and back wheel drive. Um... Here, just for the purpose of this tutorial, I am going to be doing that. Uh, so make sure all of your things are backwards. Now, the side ones going side to side, uh, they don't really matter. Um, also, these have to be on the bottom if you are using the suspension. Anyways, uh, so first, make your little car thing here. Uh, you know, just kind of decorate it, make it however you want. Um, yeah, anyways, <laughs> just like that, uh, and then you'll need a engine, here, I'm just gonna use a small engine for the purpose of this tutorial, now you can use essentially any single engine you would like here, um, so, yeah, well, if I get, just kind of hook this up, basic engine, also that could, tutorial will be coming out very soon, um, how to make a engine in Stormworks. So if I get a if I get a fuel tank, I'm not gonna make this too nice. I'm just gonna kind of do this. So it's gonna medium fuel uh fuel tank here. Just kind of slap this on here. Maybe, possibly. Uh, here there we go. And slap that on, and then just get a radiator. Put this right here, and then exhaust, and then this is fuel, and then this is air. Which we can just get a one of these, and literally just stick that. like that that's exhaust and then just go here put that here and then yeah cool great uh there and then just get a fluid porch and then yeah um so basically that's gonna be our engine uh for this example just kind of cover everything up here make it a little nicer yeah that's fine okay uh yeah now you will need a thing here so <laughs> um to connect this to your wheels which by doing that there's a little thing here if you're in advanced mode anyways uh you'll need to take a pipe and connect those. So I'm going to turn on symmetry mode here, and then I'm just going to have it like this. Essentially, like a drive axle or whatever. Uh, get my pipe here again, and then T pipe. Okay. Now I can just go here, T pipe, and go straight through here. And yeah, it's not the best car ever, but you know, it works. Actually, do you know what? I will need one of these, actually, not a T-pipe. Or well, I, need, I will need one later, I think. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. Here, and then just kind of, yeah.
Okay, now that you have the engine all set up, um, or well, you should, uh, anyways. Um, now that you have that, you'll need to add a starter. I'm just going to make this one, like that, and you can just go to data A and D, which will go to your front steering, steering, and then WX will go to your throttle, and yes, that looks good. Okay, so now theoretically your car should move as long as you have electricity, which I do not. So let's just get a battery here and stick these right on the back. Connect this up to everything that needs electric. So just the engine. Now, my car should work. As you can see, it does indeed work. Although you'll notice the wheels are like that. So, yeah, like you're probably wondering, well, what are you gonna do? So, what I need to do, I need to invert it, obviously. By doing that, uh, I'm going to grab a invert thingy, maybe, numerical inverter thingy, yeah, one of these, and just stick this right here. Now, I believe it was uh, this one that was inverted, so stick that to A and D, and now essentially what this is doing, so when this is a positive value, it will send it to here, and it'll be like, oh, let's switch this and make this a negative value, and it'll send the negative value to here. And now, this one will be getting a negative value, and this one will be getting a positive value, since they are going the same way. Uh, I mean, the opposite ways. Now, a way you can fix this is um, by just uh, having this go the other way, although then you cannot have this one go forwards, the front wheels. Um, yeah. Uh, next, I'm going to make it all-wheel drive. So, obviously, most cars, uh, or like a lot of cars that have four-wheel drive, you can turn it on and off. So, what I'm going to do is, you don't just want to connect this up to your A and D, because then that would just, you know, do the same thing. You would be coming through here and just allowing it to go through. So what we're going to do, we're going to get a switch box, switch box, and then we are going to stick this on here, just like that. Now we're going to get two constant numbers, that's the wrong thing, two constant numbers, one's going to be one, oh. one's going to be one and one's going to be zero. Now, the one that is 1 is going to be on your on, and this one's going to be on your off. This will then go to your clutch pressure, and this will be going for 2. So, let's do, name this 2, uh, just name that 4, and let's do start. There we go. Okay, now that we have that done, uh, you also will notice that it's the back it's like really heavy but first as you can see my wheels the, my wheel problem is not fixed when i uh click a it goes to the left and when i click d it goes to the right like it's supposed to great now i can go ahead and start it can start going here Also, I need to make that a uh, push button, but yeah, as you can see, it will work now. Now, if we also click 4, which I never actually gave this any electricity, so which I do need to do that. Uh, here, okay. Um, I just need to give that electricity. Boom, now the whole four-wheel drive thing should work. Also, with this problem, 
um, I can simply go to the select and then just raise the dampening or the stiffness. I'm just going to do stiffness to 60, I think should be good. 60. 60, there we go, let's see. And it's better. Still needs to be a little higher though. So I'm gonna do 80. And then 80 here. Yeah, that's much better. I think that's okay. It's not perfect, but it's not not perfect. So yeah, we can go here. As you can see, our engine is now working, as well as our car. If we click four-wheel drive, we will have the front wheels going. And yeah, that's how you do make a car here in the world of Stormworks. Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, and see you guys in the next video.